It's the start of another day of clinicals for Pedro Gonzalez, a nursing student at the Florida International University School of Nursing. With each visit to a patient, he takes his final steps towards entering a profession that's in urgent need of qualified healthcare providers. But Pedro isn't just another nursing student, and this is not just the start of another day. This marks the end of a personal and professional journey, and the beginning of another for him and 31 fellow pioneering students from all over the world. On December 15, 2003, these remarkable individuals will be the very first graduates of the nation's only education program to transform foreign trained doctors into much needed nurses for our healthcare industry. Each of these students were at one time doctors in their home countries. Their medical practices cut short because of political or economic strife, the lack of professional opportunities and other circumstances. And the reason I came to this country is because of the critical economic conditions uh, in my homeland. I came over to the United States about 10 years ago because I had the opportunity to uh, work here as a clinical laboratory technologist. The main thing that I left my practice is because I didn't see I was making a difference. Thanks to the Foreign Physician to Nursing program, they can once again live out their medical calling, but this time as nurses. Created right here in South Florida, the program utilizes a new source of skills and talent to help alleviate the severe nursing shortage, the foreign trained physician who is not practicing in this country. When I moved to the state, I wasn't even allowed to work. Um, I work in domestic in the beginning, and then I, um, after about two, three years, uh, I was a waitress. I work a part-time uh, school monitor in uh, an elementary school. I work for a um, a filing clear for an insurance company. But through this accelerator program, students are given credit for their medical education and proceed through a specialized curriculum of clinicals, coursework, and community projects that facilitate their transition. The curriculum is a little bit different because it includes, it helps us transform and change our mentality from being physicians to nurses. You know, as a physician, you just order things, but when you actually see nurses in action, they do those things. Um, most of people think, well, you're a doctor, you got no problem being a nurse, and that's not actually true. It's not only diagnosis, giving a patient medical diagnosis, what we used to do in their country, but also applying nursing process and applying nursing diagnosis to the patient condition. It's a program that requires as much dedication as it does desire, challenging students both personally and professionally in the pursuit of their goals. A lot of these uh, uh, students uh, had to work uh, during the week because they have family commitments and other uh, duties that they had to respond to, and yet they wanted to be able to go through this track and stay in healthcare. The idea for this unique initiative came about several years ago in conversations between the FIU School of Nursing and partners in the healthcare community. And sometime in uh, 2002, I met with uh, Teresa Fernandez, who is the Chief Nursing Officer at Kendall Medical Center. During our conversation, uh, I mentioned that we had this uh, well-educated pool of uh, employees and uh, we were experiencing a nursing shortage uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if FIU would develop a program specific for them uh, to channel uh, some of this talent and help with the nursing shortage that we were experiencing? So I told her, well, as a matter of fact, we have a program like that. It's been developed, it's been approved, but it's never been implemented because of lack of funding. And she said, well, why don't we go to my parent company, HCA. One of our sister hospitals, in addition to our division office, had, uh, uh, had discussions with Davina Grossman, dean of the nursing school, and we uh, were very excited about that program and, and uh, also wanted to participate. What intrigued me about the program is the fact that there were a large pool of qualified candidates um, who were being underutilized uh, in the healthcare profession, who had all of the basic sciences, and who needed about a year and a half of education in order to um, receive the BSN degree. What intrigued me the most about it was the fact that these are physicians and uh, will they be able to adjust uh, uh, to become a nurse and uh, 
uh, I think that they successfully have done, have done that. With private funding from Health Corporation of America, through its Kendall Regional and Cedars Medical Centers, along with Mercy Hospital, the program was realized in May 2002. This program, uh, I really think, is kind of revolutionary uh, because it basically takes people that cannot become doctors in the States and, and give them a, a good career. Uh, in particular, Kendra Reg Regional Hospital uh, is being one of the promoters of this program and it's a, a fine uh, hospital. We have had all the support from the hospital administration, from the staff at the hospital. They have been very cooperative with us and very helpful. Being part of this program is exhilarating because it is a very creative way to solve a very serious problem in the community. I will be practicing at Mercy Hospital and I'm looking forward to this new experience. Um, this hospital, just the thought of it, um, it gives me a feeling of warmth and um, of compassion. And um, I hope it's going to be an open door when I can be a better person. The program means to the hospital uh, great things in that it allows us to partner with FIU, it allows uh, these physicians to have an ability to put their talents and resources to work and, and, and allow Cedars to be better for it. I'm highly appreciative of um, Cedars Medical Hospital especially um, because for believing in us, in um, investing in us. The Foreign Physician to Nursing program also addresses the need for greater diversity in the nursing field and providing care for the culturally diverse populations of South Florida. I think that Miami is very rich with uh, people that come from many uh, places, mostly Central and South American, the Caribbean, and uh, the commonalities that uh, a lot of them are Hispanics or they are very familiar with the um, ethnic heritage. The School of Nursing has long had a history of uh, focusing on uh, issues of uh, minority communities. Uh, we have expertise on the faculty in the area of cultural competence. Uh, we have um, a number of faculty who have expertise in teaching uh, students coming from uh, diverse communities. Um, and of course we have a um, good track record, an excellent track record of sponsorship from the community. We have tremendous amount of support uh, from hospitals and the corporate sector uh, for our programs. This Foreign physicians come from the community, and uh, this is the target um, uh, population that they're going to be serving, so that uh, I think it was a tremendous asset. Ultimately, for these students, graduation means once again using their skills and knowledge to care for those in need and to make a better life for themselves. The most gratifying part with this program for me was um, finally going into back to the mainstream healthcare system, which is patient care. The most gratifying part is um, getting to know the, the, your patients, not only as patients, but getting to know them as people. It lets me open to a field where I thought I closed the book before, and um, I want to see to what level I'm taking it further. As the only program of its kind in the nation, the Foreign Physician to Nursing program has drawn attention from around the city, around the state, and around the country. Its success will open even more doors of opportunity for individuals, organizations, and communities here and elsewhere. In fact, we have received inquiries from other nursing schools in the country who are interested in implementing this program. I believe the future of this program is, is only going to have more success. Uh, I understand it's caught on in other parts of the state. We look forward to participating and have actually currently interviewed more students to participate in this program at Cedars. I'm uh, grateful because there's about 620 others who have expressed interest in a program such as, as this uh, in uh, the uh, uh, university and I'm hopeful that we will be able to find uh, different alternative funding to keep the program going until at least 600 more graduate. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations to all of you, particularly to our graduates, particularly to those that have blazed the new trail, that have once again 
reflected the innovative and leadership qualities of our School of Nursing. But I also want to thank our partner hospitals. We couldn't have done this. We wouldn't be here today without our partner hospitals. I've learned more things. I've learned more ways to approach many things in life. Uh, nursing is not only a profession, but it's a way to live life. It teaches you a lot of things. I feel like I got more accomplished. I feel like I'm more into the field now rather than before. So I feel like um, I'm back. I've been waiting for this moment for uh, quite a few years now, so I cannot wait to get in touch with the patients again. When you leave an old country, like the Eastern Europe country I left, um, basically in my prayers, I said, God, please help me overcome and live 200 years ahead from my life. And this is my wish coming true. And that's really what FIU is all about. I mean, FIU is all about hope and opportunity. And so I find that this program fits that, that bill, you know, that it offers hope and opportunity for professionals who otherwise would not have the ability to uh, deliver care in the way that uh, they were educated in their countries and in the way that they would like to. I am thrilled for you, for your families, and for your future. Congratulations and much continued success. Music